I want to talk to you today a little bit more about the bow and how to find the correct angles for each string visually. But I also want to share with you an incredible idea that a fellow cellist presented to me uh, to practice bowing using a paper towel roll. But first, let's get into how to visually see on your cello the correct angles for your bow. Of course, you want to be as much as possible perpendicular to each string when you play. The easiest one to see is the D string. And you can see the perpendicular uh, with your bow hair to the string, but also look not just at the D string, but on the adjacent strings, on the A string and the G string, and line those up. And you want to have perpendicular the whole length of the bow. You can also look at the crown at your bridge, too. And try to bow that perpendicular the whole length of the bow. Now the A string is the hardest one of all with your arm. It's the hardest one to grasp. But visually, all you have to do is look between your stick of your bow and the horsehair and look at the angle of your bridge on the, on the A. So you should see the bridge right between the, the stick and the horsehair and match that angle all the way out. string it's this is a little harder but again look at the crown of this bridge between the stick and the hair but also look at the adjacent strings at the D and the C string and find your perpendicular <laughs> Gently push down, and the string will hold the bow up. All you do is guide it. The C string, same as the A string, match up the angle, the curve of that bridge that you will see between the horse hair and the stick. how you do that and for a beginning cellist this is one of the hardest things to do but now to this great idea the next time you go through your paper towel roll don't throw the tube away save it now I happen to have in my house like a something a little map came in a little roll it came in the mail but what you're gonna do is put your bow inside that tube. Ah, and now you have a guide. Oh, there's my dog. There's Freya. Now you have a guide. See, I wish you could see my arm go out. Just practice. This is just the D string. Just practice going back and forth and relax your arm the whole way. Now the A string, make sure your angle is good on this A string. Both through the tube and then back. I should have the tube more this way. Use that tube to teach muscle memory. This is the best I've ever sounded. 
listen to that sound, the sound of silence. Sorry, bad pun. And then your G string and your C string. So if you're a beginning cellist or intermediate or advanced even, teach your arm this muscle memory for how to use your bow, how to do the bow stroke by using this tube, not this tube, but the tube at your, at your house and just keep practicing this. <laughs> We're gonna go through every household item in your house to learn how to play cello, I think. First it was a mop handle and now it's this tube. But try this, get back to me, let me know what you think. It's a process. You have to learn how to relax when you bow. No tension anywhere. Peace, and I will talk to you all again soon.